Hey there, welcome to the Morning Shred, brought to you by the all-new snowboards.com. I'm Jenna, I've got Ryan from Ride here, and we're going to talk about the Ride Capo Binding. Ryan, there's a lot going on with this binding, a lot of different features. Who's it designed for? Uh, it's uh, it's designed for intermediate to advanced. Okay. Um, all mountain freestyle binding. Um, you can you can do it all with this binding. Um, it's uh, the flex rating on the high back versus some of the other models is going to be a seven. It's a little one, bit higher. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be one of our stiffer high backs mm -hmm. for that guy that's looking to really charge and put some energy into his edges. Excellent. So let's talk about the straps a little bit too. Straps, we have uh, the mount strap with the new flip side here. And the flip side is, is a great design. So you just kind of pop it open, it stays open. So that way you're not stepping on your straps or on your buckles or breaking pieces that shouldn't break. Um, and I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen some other brands doing something similar, but that I think does it with the least amount of added materials. Exactly. And it's very simple and it works. It's so. very simple. It's a very great design. You mm -hmm. know, kudos to our engineers. Um, the, the toe cap or the toe strap is uh, uh, the 3D thin grip material, which is going to stretch in all directions, three, 3D, um, east, west, north, south, you name it. It stretches out well. Has more of that curved 3D design that's going to be better use on the toe mm -hmm. only. I'm sure you could run it over the top. Sure. But more designed for the toe to drive the heel cup back. Um, this toe box or this toe um, strap is basically designed to fit just about any toe box in the game. Nice. We've got toolless. Uh... We have the toolless adjustment which is which is key in, in a lot of stores and, and for customers maybe swapping out their boots or you know maybe ride a couple different pairs of, of boots or just for just finding that perfect fit. And you guys have really simplified it this year too, right? Yes, yeah, very easy, you know, toolless. It basically says, you know, says it all. Astroglide ratchets, a um, little bit better grip here, slides out effortlessly, couple cranks, and you are good to go. And that's the LT, so it's a little lighter than some of the other Astroglide models, yeah, right? Yeah, yep, yep, this is the, the LT um, Astroglide, or the ratchets, um, just very lighter, very easier to grip. Thinned out a little bit. Yep, thinned out. Good. Uh, let's talk about the chassis then. Chassis, uh, Infinity chassis, um, excellent design. We have screw here, screw here, screw there, screw there. Loosen up all four of those. Board can be mounted on the um, or the binding can be mounted, mounted on the board. Pull the heel cup for adjustment. Very easy adjustment, basically. Um, the 2.5 wedgie system, which gives you a great fit from your knees to your feet. Added pop stability. Um, just a more all-around comfort, comfortable ride. You can really wider stance. You can really feel that it gives you that extra leverage over the outside of the edge. Yeah, of the leverage. That word right there sums up kind of what the wedgie is designed to do. Great. Um, on the bottom, we have uh, the urethane roll bars, which is right here, here, and right in here. Um, gives a little bit more grip. Gives a little bit more stability. So keep from sliding around. When you go to load up on it, it's there to load up on and pop back off of. And really kind of dampen the binding, absorb that dampen extra the riding, vibration. Exactly, Perfect. absorb the vibration um, and the chatter of, of some of these of some of today's rides. Great, and it allows it to work with the uh, micro disc, right? Yes, it does. And here's the micro disc here. Okay. So if you look at it at your normal um, disc that is going in, in a four by four pattern, um, it's, it's, it's less weight. Sure. When you put it on a board, um, it loosens the board up torsionally, so basically you're going to feel more of the board underneath your foot. Instead of having that big solid plate under yeah, there, right? Yeah, you, okay. when you, you know, when you're looking at this, compare it to the, the normal size disc that people have been using for years, and you'll see for yourself just the size of it, and it kind of makes sense, or the story will be played out within it. Um, also has two holes here, so it's compatible, uh, compatible on the other guys' systems as well. Sure. So if there's a binding out there that, you know, if, you're, if there's a board out there that you're looking to ride, and it might not be compatible with everyday's bindings. The Capo and the Infinity chassis basically is compatible. Made of okay. 61 or 6061 aluminum. Awesome. And then uh, the high back. Uh, it's one of. It's the Eclipse high back, right? Yep, the Eclipse high back. Um, very very stiff. Seven rating. Um, some carbon in there, I do believe. Just keep it very stiff and uh, responsive. Perfect. All right. Well, there you go. That's the Ride Capo binding. Uh, excellent binding for your intermediate to advanced level guy looking for just a solid performance binding. Um, starting to get a little bit more bells and whistles to it and something that you can really take all over the mountain and kind of aggressively charge on it. So check it out on snowboards.com. Thanks for watching The Morning Shred.